Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. And this question comes from Richard Kitchen. He lives in an apartment and he has the MFJ1625. And the problem with it, it uses a hamstick kind of thing. And it clamps to the balcony rail. There's a loading coil that's adjustable and then a whip kind of thing going out from it. You can tune it on different bands. And he had a problem with it because it was hanging out over the balcony. He says he came up with an idea that seems to work. He moved the coil, the loading coil, to the top and put a second coil at the bottom. That's really going to affect the SWR. Top whip is attached to the coil from the MFJ1625 and is 38 inches long. The bottom coil, which is on a Wolf River mini coil, is 23 inches long and is touching by accident the bottom of the metal table. If the metal table's painted, you'll get a little attachment from capacitance. If it's directly metal to metal, then the table becomes part of the antenna. He's using HF URP transceiver. There are lots of them out there. With the Z-Match tuner, I can tune it from 1.08 to 1.25. Those are the SWRs, which are excellent, across the 20 meter band. Now, the question that the part you left out was how well does it perform? Because remember, a dummy load has a one-to-one -one SWR on all frequencies for which it's designed. Okay, mine is strictly HF. But one-to-one -one SWR and you're not transmitting a thing or so very little that any QSO will probably be with a neighbor or something like that. If it works, great. I'm a little surprised that it does, but if you get good SWR, that means your signal's not returning to you. But the question, of course, is, is it being radiated as heat rather than RF? So I'd like to hear from you about uh, what, how well that works. Are you getting good results? Are you talking to people? Does it seem as good as it did when you had just the regular one with the whip sticking out? What's the deal? Give me more information here. I think everybody would be interested. The MFJ1625 is an interesting antenna. It is specifically designed to work on a balcony. Now, it has another wire that trails back into the house. It's a counterpoise, but it uses it as an artificial ground. Okay, and you may have to shift the length of that with each band that you go to or make multiple wires running in. It sounds like he's on the air. Uh, I don't have a uh, good assurance of what it's going to look like. I've got some pictures here that just simply show the table. It looks like he's on the second floor and I see palm trees. So I, uh, you know, he's got a six call. So I'm going to assume Southern California. And if that's so, uh, wave to my sister as you drive by. And until we next meet, 73.